If you think that having a packed calendar means you're going to have a productive week, then you're wrong. Because in reality, the essence of productivity is that it's not about how much you're getting done, but it's about what you're getting done. And if you're focusing more on time management versus energy management. So in this video, I wanna talk about exactly what is the what to do in terms of productivity. And then from there, we'll talk about how to plan out your very best week ever in about 30 minutes. What's up guys, it's Alex Hine, author of Master of the Day. So let's get in it. Now, the first step is to begin with the focusing question. Now for me, the favorite focusing question, both for my year as well as for my weeks, is what are your top three? Because again, you can get stuck either in the giant goals or the micro minutia of does this really help me reach my goal? And in reality, you have to have both. But I like to start with what are your biggest three objectives for the year and therefore also for the week? So let's take a look at this. So let's plan out your top three. And let's just say your top three are lose weight, make more money, and find a girl, all right? So we have health, wealth, and love. So these are going to be our big rocks, right? Let's just say these are actually your personal life priorities. And let's just say one is career related, make more money. So how do we actually break this down into the big rocks, right? What we have to do, first of all, let's just say in the center, this is your best year, right? And we have one, let's just say weight, right? One is money and one is the girl. We'll just call this love, okay? So we know we can quantify these, right? We can say, let's say I wanna get a 60K job in marketing. I wanna actually change my career. And let's just say the objective here is long-term relationship. And then let's just say for the weight, let's just make it as easy as lose 10 pounds. So we've decided that what are the three things that I want? These are the big rocks, right? To use Stephen Covey's analogy. Let's call them rocks, right? And the reason this is most essential is Start with this focusing question, which is right here. What would make the best year? Best year ever, okay? What would it be? What are the three big things? And we've decided these are my three big rocks. So that is phase one of the focusing question. Now, the second part is to pick three habits for each goal. Again, we've decided what are the big objectives of the year, and hopefully your week should indicate what you want to achieve during the year, right? whether it's personal or professional. But from there, we need to actually break that down because while you may have the goal of, let's say, getting a job with a $20,000 raise in a new industry, let's say you wanna go from 40K to 60K in a marketing job instead of your dishwashing job. So how do we actually do that though? We need to figure out what to do today. If I have one hour, how do I get a $20,000 raise and change industries? So this is the fundamental first question that I talk about in the free journaling series that I've had right below the video. It's a weekly journaling exercise that will show you how do you reverse engineer the year and how you turn that into actual simple journaling exercises that can help you get clarity on what do I do right now if I have one hour? So you guys can check it out. It's the link right below this video. But let's jump in and actually show you the breakdown. All right, so let's start on the career side here. So what are our three daily habits that could possibly result in this? So one is the actual skills we need, right? So I'm gonna write one hour marketing. So one, one of the habits that could get us here is spending just about an hour a day studying marketing of those positions that pay 60K. What else could we do? It could be apply, right? actually begin applying one hour a day for these kinds of marketing jobs that you like. In reality, it's probably going to involve both. But what is a third daily or weekly ritual you could do? And we could say network. Because like you know, if you've ever been on the other side of the resume machine, it sucks sending out hundreds of resumes and hoping that something sticks. So we've reduced the big rock here into some rituals, some are daily and some are weekly. But now we know this outcome we can get to from one of these three rituals. Now we have an action plan. Now, if we're talking about how do we get the girl, one thing could be new hobby, right? Because you can't exactly coerce strangers on the street to date you and fall in love with you. But what you can do is increase the chances of meeting people that you like by getting out there more. So a new hobby like a salsa class or you know a cooking class, some way you can organically meet people can increase the chances. How else can you do this? You can actually work on yourself. Work on self. I hate to say it, but the easiest way to find a new relationship is just to be a more attractive person 
And honestly, doing this kind of stuff is how you get there. Because if you're someone who really is successful and healthy and a person people want to be around and be with, you're going to naturally be attracting people in that kind of way. So let's just say we have two rituals that are likely to do this. And we'll put a third is you actually have to ask somebody out. Of course, a lot of us don't do that because we're afraid, but these could be weekly rituals that could make us a more attractive person and more likely to bump into someone that we ultimately love. When it comes to our weight, what can we do here? We can choose start cooking versus eating out. That could be just a 30 minute a day ritual. We could choose to start going to yoga, right? Let's just say three times a week. You don't need to go and know what to do in the gym. You just go to the class and they're gonna tell you what to do. That lowers the friction. What else could we do in terms of the weight? We could obviously go for walks, right? If going to yoga, going to a class is too intimidating, I'm just gonna go for a 30 minute walk every day after work. So now we have a clear vision of what possibly excites us big rocks, boom, boom, boom. We have approximately two or three rituals for each of those rocks, boom, boom, boom. And now when I say, what do I do if I have one hour today? It could be any one of these rituals from any one of these blocks, depending on which goal is your priority. Now, the third part of this is really having strategic time blocks. So let's say of those goals, working on your career is the absolute priority. So what do I do tonight? If I'm home from work, it's 6 p.m. and now I have basically four or five hours until I go to bed. What do I do? Let's say you realize to get that raise and a new job, the marketing job, what you need to do is I need to learn marketing skills. So now on your calendar every day at 7 p.m., put study marketing for one hour and you're just gonna do a Google course or a Udemy course or some other kind of course that can possibly help you do that. But you know that every single night for an hour, I'm going to study marketing and that will ultimately result in the skills I need as I'm shooting out like frisbees, hundreds of resumes every single day. Just But now you have the skills that are more likely for you to get approved and get those gigs. So you've gone from no clarity about the year to now a clear plan for what to do every single day. Now, by the way, guys, I've just released something incredibly exciting called the Monk's Courtyard, which is a collection of all my online programs on how to design your dream life. One of my favorites that I've gotten the best feedback from is the journaling program. And we have about half a dozen or a dozen journaling exercises that you can sort of mix and match to see which basically work for you on a day-to-day -day basis to reach your goals. So I have a link to this brand new Monk's Courtyard. Check it out down there below because we sort of have a launch special on it, but super interesting. Now, let me show you what I mean by that calendar time blocking and then we'll pull it all together. So now let's say we have an evening schedule, right? I'm just gonna draw out your calendar here and we'll say this is nine to six, right? and you're working six to seven, chilling, back from work, seven to eight, marketing block, right? And so what I do, whether you use an analog calendar or you're using iCal on your phone, put this in your calendar every day and have the reminder go off 15 minutes before so that you have plenty of time to go home and relax and go to the gym and cook food or go out to eat. And then it's just an hour a night, one hour per night to focus on the marketing block that you time blocked, that you know will lead to your best year in the money quadrant of your life. And that is the way you go from no clear plan for your future, for the year, for the month, for the week, for the day, to a crystal clear plan plan down to the day that will make a difference in your quality of life. So that's how you go from having no plan for your life, for the year, for the month, for the week, for the day, to a crystal clear, what do I do in my one hour this evening? I want to work on myself. And you know exactly what you need to do in that one hour that will change your life. And most importantly, none of it actually matters besides getting those big rocks. You can let basically everything else go in your life not stress, but if you're doing that one hour or that 90 minutes every night towards your three primary goals, it could be 20 or 30 minutes in each bucket, then you are going to make progress and have a great year. I also have this kind of topic and this strategy in a related video right over here, you guys.